Hey everyone, a little different opening to my video this, than I typically do, but bear with me. We'll go detecting, I promise. As you can tell, I'm nowhere near a Southern California beach. So I received a dreaded call that one of my lifelong friends, Jimmy, had passed away. And so I arranged flight out here last minute to, to uh, attend his services. So I did that yesterday. I have one spare day before I fly back home tomorrow. So anybody that watches my videos, know that anytime I'm in Virginia, I go metal detecting with Aaron, another lifelong friend of mine. So I'm almost to Aaron's house. He's got a new permission he's taking me out to today. Uh, I know it's 10 acres. I know it's an old house. I don't know how old, if it's 1700s or early 1800s, but it's got huge potential for Civil War relics, colonial relics, and who knows what else. So although I'm here for sad purpose this trip, I've got to go metal detecting. So we'll see you on the first dig. All right, so before we head out to this new permission Aaron has, I want to show you what he found in a hour hunt on this property. And this is all he's done out there. So high hopes. This is a syringe from Civil War era. This is a rosette off of a horse bridle. Harmonica, lipstick tube, uh, 1848, large scent, and a Indian head penny. So, this property does have huge potential. It is 10 acres and a 1700s house. So we will head out there now. All right, so this is the house. This is the main portion. You can see where the stucco has been removed in the original rock. The date, exact date is unknown when it was built, but it is 1700s. So this was a doctor's house documented in the Civil War. This was the doctor's practice. Aaron found the syringe right out front of the doctor's practice. So that's super cool. I'll walk around the other side and show you the exposed wall because they are remodeling this place. Uh, keeping it historical looking, but I'll walk around the other side one sec. And here's where they've removed a lot more stucco. This is part of the original building. And Aaron said in a lot of these, uh, the exposed dirt he's gone through, and there's a lot of oyster shells, which is interesting, but he's found lots of pottery, and he's also found a clay marble, which was in that little case I videoed right before this. So this is super cool. I'm excited. Let's get digging. All right, I had a mid-20s. I've got whatever it is. It was way down deep right here. I, I haven't picked it up and looked yet, so let's take a look. It's a button. Yeah, it's a button here. Well, remember two trips ago or something like that, I found a mid to high 20s, a thick copper one? I think that's what I got. Oh, wait, we got shine on this one, though. Oh, wow. It's a flat button, and look at all that gilding that's remaining. I don't know if I want to brush this. It's got so much silver on it still, or whatever it may be. Let's take a look. Gilting, Gilting yes. The gilding. <laughs> look at that. Oh, yeah. Let me get the back real quick, and then I'll hand it off. Very pretty. Yeah, it's a good one. You're going to love that one. That's the first flat button. Yes, it is. At this property, you're, you're right. Uh, that's right. It's got writing, too. That's good. That means a maker mark. All right, let me get some information. Okay, okay. it says... God word and then it says Baltimore and that's all I can make on it for now but the uh, the plating on it uh, we're having a debate whether it's gilting or gilding or whatever the plating is gold not silver I thought it was silver but that thing was deep this thing is heavy and it's got a lot of great detail that is a beautiful button and that would be do you think colonial on this I guess we could research what do you think Aaron It's not a typical Civil War bullet or button that we would found, so... No, it's, it's like 18, pre-1830. It's pre-1830? That's so cool. So he's elbow deep in a hole right now. <laughs> How can he quit? It's cannonball, man. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Well, we're witnessing a quitter. Man. That's pathetic. All right, Aaron's got one in the plug here. And what was your reading on the 700? 32, 33. So low tone. That's a big flat button. A little dandy, maybe? All right, you got your brush? No, there's a hole in it. Uh, oh, maybe Chinese coin, maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, old Chinese coins had square holes in the middle, but you had something that had a square hole punched through it. Yeah, it was a uh, flat button used for a washer. Looks a little thin for a Chinese it, Yeah, it is really thin. That definitely looks... It's got something on it. Am I seeing things? Alright, we'll take a better look at this. Definitely a Chinese coin. You can see some writing on there. I'll put a still shot off to the side. So that is cool. Not a bad place to be. So Aaron's got an interesting thing here and the internet's terrible so we can't really look it up but I love the shape of that. Mm -hmm. He's thinking horse tack of some kind. But I've never seen this is what's different. I found yeah, the, like this before. The hook is weird. Yeah. And as small as that is, they wouldn't put that on a horse because that I don't know. I think that would snap right off. Anybody know anything? Let us know. I don't know what the heck this is. I don't even remember what it rang. I think low twenties. But it's circular, but it's got paint on it. But I just kind of started moving things around and it's coming apart. But it almost looks like the innards of a pocket watch. Is that a little gear? I almost see teeth right around the edge. All sorts of weird mechanisms in here. So this might be an old pocket watch. I really don't know. It's already destroyed, so heck, I might as well just start pulling it apart and see. Whatever it is, it's pretty intricate. Got lots of littles in here. I don't know. I'll just keep on disintegrating if I keep on trying, but who knows what that is? It's interesting. All right, finally. This was about eight inches deep. I've got it right here, and I see three rings of a mini ball. Nice. Civil War bullet. All right, so, so far for me, a button and this. Let's keep rocking. So it was kind of cool. Aaron found a, uh, a master lock key. The date isn't 2020, I doubt. That's just a number. But on the back, it's got a, uh, would you say that's a lion? I see a lion. What do you see? I see a lion. And it says master at the top, right? But that's kind of neat. We actually uh, wandered over to the neighboring property, talked to the landowner, and she just gave us permission. So we just stepped onto her property. Well, surprisingly, this is my first square nail at this property. I figured I'd find a lot of these. Square nails are old. All right, Aaron got a flat button in the front yard here of this uh, second permission we have. Good shape. All right, so Aaron came up with a cool find in the front yard. This is an oil lamp where you would turn the wick up. But these are dated on the end wheel, and this one is 1868. That is pretty well intact. Very cool. It's a bunny rabbit shape, and it's hollow on the back, and I think it's like a cookie press. It was right up against this tree, not far from the house. So that's that's kind of different. So he has found a large scent. That is a large scent. Look at that guy. Ugh. Will this ring up on your 700? Did I was bouncing 90s and the 80s, sometimes in the 70s. Here's the front. Here should be the date. Looks like it's a decent shape. It does. Is that a patron? Uh, left base. Left bust. Okay, I'm seeing... It's thick. 1836? There's the one cent. Yeah, you want to brush that? We'll get back to you. 
And this thing is in phenomenal condition. Usually these coppers get pretty worn out. And he's got something else in the hole. What'd you get? We were hoping a, a, a large cent coin spill. How cool would that be? All right, that is uh, the find of the day so far. Oh, Chinese coin. I forgot about that thing. That thing's got the age. It's got the age. All right, cool. Let's find some. Okay, we're on the backyard of the house, of the uh, neighbor's house we just got permission on now. I had a mid to high 20s, reading pretty strong. I've just kind of, it was in the plug, I separated the plug, and now I'm seeing coinage, I think. And being mid 20s, it could be very well be silver. It's definitely a coin. Or a token. Wow, this is really thin. Wafer thin. All right, let me get some water on this because I do not want to damage it. But I definitely see... Okay, I'll be right back to you. All right, well, play money. It literally says play money on it. And that's a, uh, a buck on one side. This is pretty good music. I like this DJ. <laughs> The homeowner is an, uh, a widowed lady that bought this house and she's rocking out in the backyard, so it's pretty slick. Anyway, I got it says Uncle Sam 1959, so if this were real money, Aaron did point out, it would have been silver, but instead I have aluminum. Yeah, whatever. Ugh. All right, I had a mid-20s, and I think I'm seeing something with some cool factor. It's not a coin, but... Well, hopefully it's not play money again. That was lame. Wow. That's pretty neat. Maybe it would go... I'm not even going to guess. Okay. Let me brush this off. I'll be right back to you. So it didn't reveal much more cleaning it off. But it is pretty neat. Alright, this one was low to mid 20s. It's in my plug here. I just exposed the edge. I hope it's not a modern penny, but it doesn't look like the size of a modern penny, so... Oh, I see gold plating on it. Guilting. That is another button. Let's get my brush. Man, that's got a lot of plating on it. I love it. Man, that's shiny. No decoration on the front. It does say something on the rear or on the back. Very cool. All right, mid to high 20s with this ring. I think I'm seeing wheat penny here. Yeah. What's your oldest today? Hey, for California, that's old. But we're in Virginia. This is a new coin for this house. Good job. Thank you. I worked hard for that. What'd you get? I haven't dug it yet. Dig it up? It's in the plug. What's your number on the 700? 92. 92 on the 700. Out of the ground. This says... 1944. 43. Still in the front yard of the house. I had a 1617, pretty deep, and uh, popped my plug, and it's right here. And after I got schooled, because I was always calling the three ring with the taper in the bottom sharps. They're not sharps. This is a sharps. <laughs> I am schooled now. This is a Sharps. 
The other one is a... You got gardeners all kinds of all different varieties. I don't remember. Anyhow, that is a Civil War bullet, and it's darker color as opposed to the white because of all the tree roots around. Cool. Snake peek, he's elbow deep again. We'll see if he quits on this one. I believe that's the second time today. Yeah. Quitter. To the house. And... Might have a star in the base, can't really tell. Literally right next to that bullet I just dug. Uh, I've got round. Have not cleaned it off yet. Let's take a look. Please be a V nickel or something old. This is not a button. Ooh, ooh, this is really old. Okay, hold on. I will be right back to you. I think this is a... Aaron, what? Not V nickel. What's the other nickel? Shield. I think I have a shield. I'll be right back to you. A V nickel, not a shield. Which is not bad. 1907 is no slouch. That's over 100 years old. So, excited about that. Let's find some more. Got another old buckle, pretty darn deep as well. It's a serious chunk of lead right there. I already said it once this video, but I gotta say it again. Not a bad place to be, look at this place. Just beautiful, I'm surprised she let us on her property because it's so well manicured. And we're digging holes, but we let her know that and she's fine with it. So. Okay, this rang up a 2122, similar to what a penny would read, but I, I'm seeing a button here. And, Ooh, yeah, look at all that shine remaining. Let's take a look. That could be CW. I don't worry about that side, flip it over. Nope, flip the suspense the is killing you. Let me figure out what this says first. <laughs> I think we got a block button. Those aren't two pieces, are they? Blockies and stuff. Are they? I don't remember. That's weird. Two piece, but there's not. It's weird not seeing an eagle, you know, come through. Okay, I might be seeing things, but I'm. I think I'm seeing something. I'll be right back to you. Turns out it's just a blink, two-piece button, no design. Still cool. All right, let's wrap up this hunt. So we are out here today, eight or nine hours. So just a sliver of a day. <laughs> we separated them in the first property and then when we got permission on the neighboring property, those are those finds. Um, Aaron and my finds are mixed together. Hopefully he forgets he found the uh, large scent because that's going to be mine. <laughs> so uh, on the first property, one mini ball. Lots of pottery pieces. Um, I found that big pottery piece, which was kind of slick. Off a milk jug or something. A big old what's it. Uh, this was towards the beginning of the hunt. If anybody has in any information on that, please let us know. That's got to be old, and I'm not sure what its purpose would be. He's got that... Chinese coin? Yeah. Yes. Chinese coin. He's going to do some research research on it. He'll let me know if he can come up with a year, but there's plenty of writing to read, and hopefully we can get that um, information before it uploads. We'll see. He found a Jaguar. Modern coins. I found the flat button on this first property. We've got a key with a envelope on it there, and super thin, so probably just a play key. 
an old buckle, pretty deep. I believe that's a pocket watch, what remains. Big piece of lead. Who knows? Did you say trash? trash. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> All right, second property. So while we were here, we got permission from the neighbor, and man, what a good permission it was. So uh, where do I begin? I got my 1907 V nickel, my oldest coin today. I've got that flat button, thicker, heavier than most flat buttons, and rang higher. But that's a nice one. I, that property, the buttons that came out had a lot of gilting, mm -hmm. which is pretty slick. Aaron found that skeleton key surround. Got a mini ball. Got a sharps. A key, a key. I have no clue what that is. Modern coins, and then we got this one and the date. 1826. 1826. Left facing bust. We can figure out exactly which large scent this is. But I'm tired and I don't feel like looking it up. So that is an old coin. Really cool. I got my wheat penny, which is cooler, obviously, because I found it. <laughs> this one was, and I can't see this. United States Pony Club. United States Pony Club. That was pretty cool. Found in the front yard. Um, I want to say razor to shave that flips out of this and the rest of it just rotted away. Who knows? That was really cool. And the year on this one? 1868. 1868. And that is uh, a cool find. And that's one of the most intact ones I've seen come out. We usually find bits and pieces of it, but not the whole thing still intact. That piece, pretty neat. Don't know what it is. I've got the one that I thought I had some Spanish silver and Aaron starts laughing at me and he says, nope, it's aluminum and it's kids' money. So... That had me going. I had the two-piece button with no design on the front. Still see some of the gold gilting on the back. A couple of what's it's. I've got the. I'm going with cookie stamp. Uh, modern coins, and I think that was it over here, right? That's it. V nickel. And on the first property, I found a, a dog tag, but it has all of the information of the owner, who actually Aaron knows of. He's a landowner, and um, he's still alive in a nursing home but I'm not going to show that but it, but it has a lot of information on there and it's a really really old dog tag that is it so again this was just a quick trip out here unfortunately for my buddy's funeral and so this will be uh, the only Virginia hunting video that's going up next week will be on a beach somewhere in Southern California thanks so much for watching like and subscribe we'll see you in the next video